Hey y'all, how's it going? It is your girl Hubbard Tell Shay. Thank y'all for being here and joining me. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe to this channel if you already haven't. Okay, we're gonna get into y'all's reading today. For some reason, I'm hearing 50 Cent 21 questions. I don't know if somebody's person is in jail. I don't know, or going to jail, but I'm picking up an energy. Somebody here is gonna be asking you a lot of questions. Okay, um, I don't know why. I'm hearing 21 questions by 50 Cent for some reason. I haven't heard that song in a long time. So I don't know why that's popping up. But we also got Promise by Jagged Edge just playing right now. So maybe somebody wants to see if you're still ready to ride or be down with them. I don't know. All right. So spirit and everything, guys, please be make sure that y'all like, comment, and subscribe if you already haven't. Please and thank you. We're going to go ahead and get straight into you guys' reading. So what does the collective need to know for this week? What do they need to know about the person that is currently on their mind? Anyone sending any negative energy doing any spell work? I ask you please return back to the sender. Please protect me as I channel these messages for the collective highest good. Please show the collective what they need to know and what they need to hear about for this week. Okay, this week that we're in, what do they need to know? Okay. Thank you for the messages to come. Here we go. So what does the collective need to be aware of? It says they're hurt by what you said. So some of you could have definitely put this person in, in their place. Okay. And they're hurt by your they're hurt by what you said, but at the same time, wherever they're at, they hate it there. So it's like this, I'll, I'll get an energy this person could have ran from this or you know rejected you in some type of way. But there's something you said. To this person collective, it's hurting them. Okay, their feelings are hurt. What does the collective need to know for this week ahead? For this week that we're in. For some of you, your person is walking around dusty. They ain't shaved. They ain't clean. They look look dirty. Okay. But your person walking around dusty says, yeah, they're, they're walking around dusty. They're not feeling their best selves. Part person probably ain't showered. For some of you, that's probably why I got the 21 questions because, you know, in that movie, I mean, in the video, he's in jail. Or he had, or he was living a certain way and he could have went to jail, but I think at the end, the police wasn't even looking for them. But anyways, this person probably, if their person is in jail, they're probably walking around dusty, they don't look like themselves, okay? Plus, they need a haircut or something. What does the collective need to know? All right, so we got finding my way back. So whoever this is is definitely finding their way back to you this week and they're healing, Maybe that's why they're looking dusty. Maybe they're in their healing energy, okay? I don't know. Okay. What else do we got here? So this week, what does the collective need to be aware of? This week. So somebody here definitely wants to come back towards you, okay? This week, what does the collective need to know about their person and spirit? This week, what does the collective need to know? Um... Somebody here could be trying to trap you with a baby, okay? So just be mindful, okay? Because somebody here want to, wanna... the way you're acting, they like, they want to tie you down. You out here looking good, feeling good, living your best life. Somebody here want to tie you down. So what does the collective need to know? So just be mindful, all right? <clears throat> Some of you got this person blocked because you don't believe them or believe a word that they say. Some of you like you don't tell the truth at all. The truth is not in you. So let's see. I'll pull y'all a few more. Hold on, guys. All right. Yeah, this person's still in love with you. Whoever this is has is still in love with you. Their feelings are real for you. Okay. They know that to be true. Spirit, tell me, what else does the collective need to know about this person for this week? So somebody's heard by what you said, but they are they are coming back to you because they're finding their way back to you. Look at the bottom of the deck, it's a soulmate. So this could be definitely a soulmate that, you know, has been spying on you. Okay, especially if you are a divine feminine, somebody here been getting a lot of signs about you. They've been having, you know, sleepless nights. They're restless. They're in fear. Okay, of like you walking away, but they're trying to heal. But whoever this is is wanting to trap you with a baby. 
okay I'm, I'm trying to tell you so just be aware it says get butterflies when i think about you so yeah you definitely got this person feeling some type of way okay you definitely got this person in their feelings all right what else does a collective need to know about the person that is on their mind spirit what does the collective need to know about this person that's on their mind so it says they have been sending you sexual energy okay so this person definitely is like missing you sexually i told you they're trying to trap you with a baby but they just miss that energy you know y'all two could have had a good chemistry when y'all made love but this karmic got a lot that they want to say to you for some of you there's still a karmic involved okay let's see what else we got and the truth is all about to come out or it already has and that's why this person's trying to find a way to heal but we got to think about misses you, okay? So this person definitely missing you. They could be closed off a little bit guarded right now, possibly because of what you said. But they know that they are the only one who is holding back from this connection, okay? So Spirit, tell me more about the collective person for this week ahead. What can the collective expect this week ahead? What can the collective expect from this person? This week ahead. But whoever this is, they're still in love with you. They're finding their way back to you. Okay? And that's just what it is. So tell me what I need to see. Show me what I need to see, sir. What does the collective need to know? Okay? Bottom of the deck, we got judgment. So somebody here is definitely going through a healing stage. They're listening. It's like whatever you told them, it's got them feeling some type of way. But they're coming to wait to y'all's connection for some of you. This week ahead, what can the collective expect from their personal spirit? This week ahead. Some of you, y'all gonna have a reconciliation. For one, somebody here wants to come towards you, your twin flame. So this week, your twin flame could be wanting to come back towards you. Okay, somebody here is wanting to be stable here with you. There's somebody here who wants to ascend move forward with you they feel this in their soul okay some of you could be dealing with a fire sign aries leo sagittarius but they are they look at this something as a they're preparing for a new opportunity here with you okay they could also have you know some type of influence around them that's holding them back could be a third party energy but i do feel like this person wants is excited about coming towards you this week okay what can the fuck you expect this week so for some of you, it's going to be like y'all may be quiet towards your person. Some of you could be taking a break this week. But I do feel like for some of you, you, you and your person are going to be not talking. But they're trying to find their way to come back towards you. Yeah, some of y'all taking a break after some type of destruction. Okay, but I do feel like they want to have a new beginning in love here with you. Yeah, we got the three of pentacles. So I do feel like there could be a third party in this situation. This third party could be doing spell work. What else, Spirit? Yeah, but something here is about to change. Okay, I feel like with this Destiny card, something here is about to change between you and your person. Okay? Yeah, they fiending for you. Right now, they could be feeling powerless towards the situation after this ending situation, after y'all ending. But I do feel like justice is coming in here. They're getting some type of karma for lying or running away from the Empress. Because now they want to come back to have this beautiful new beginning. They want to be in a committed relationship. Send you an offer. There's somebody here who kept running in and out your life. There's something, there's going to be a turning point in y'all's connection. Now we've got Tower. So I do feel like your person could either be ending another connection or ending going through this destruction to be able to come here and have a resolution here with you, communication, reaching out to you, talking. Some of y'all can get after some time of your person being quiet. They're going to come in with some type of communication this week, okay? They're, they've been praying for this, asking God to send them signs because this person don't want to lose you. They do not want to lose you. Hey, not a source told y'all this third person's taking some action towards you because they want they want commitment they want stability they feel like you are somebody they can build with yeah you're king of swords and you can be able to aquarius gemini or libra 
Libra, but they want to come in with some truth, yeah, because they see you as their peace of mind, their joy, and they want to start something here new. This person cannot get you off their mind. What's the Wheel of Fortune here? Yeah, Three of Swords. So I do feel like if your person had you in a third party connection, I do feel like that may be coming to an end. Clarify this Three of Swords. Yeah. They're trying to get over this third party. Not really get over them, but more so like let this, trying to find the courage to let this go after breaking your heart. Yeah, they still hoping and praying that y'all can fix something out. Because they know after putting you in a situation, they know you're heartbroken. They feel like they know that they've betrayed you and they know it's a challenge to win you back. It's not going to be easy. What's the seven of wands? Yeah. This person wants to earn your trust again after falling short because they've been feeling like they've been left out in the cold. But they do, they're coming in with some type of message and hope and love message and hope to move forward with you. Tell me more, Spirit. What is this three of pentacles? Yeah, see, they were dealing with somebody else. They had other people in their ear about you. But I feel like they're making some type of plans. What's the two of wands? What's the two of wands, Spirit? Yeah, this person is obsessively thinking about having a family with you, building with you. You are their wish fulfillment. But they also are stuck in their ways. They're used to toxic people. They are... I feel like they know that they want to be happy. They're at a crossroads, okay? With you, they see as a Ten of Cups, but they also fall for temptation too, all the time. And this person don't want any drama. I'm here, I don't want no smoke with you. I just want to make it right with you. What's this Knight of Swords? Yeah, for some of you, they have came in and already tried to communicate with you and talk to you, but they realize they could have missed an opportunity here with you. So if you already talked to your person and y'all not communicating now and things kind of went left, that's because they feel like they've missed an opportunity here with you. Why do they feel like they missed an opportunity with the collective spirit, with the four cups? Yeah, and it was a it was a tough ending. The whole time you are their wish fulfillment, you are their soulmate, but they couldn't make a decision between you and somebody else. And they could have gave somebody else a love, a love offer when it was just they acted on impulse. Clarify this four of cups. Yeah, now they in their feelings, got their head down, feeling broken, feeling shattered. Yeah, look, now the swords with the five of cups. They are regretful for choosing somebody else over you, collective. Because now you are in your queen of swords energy. You're not talking to this person. You're being very direct. Some of you say, I told this person, I don't want nothing to do with you. Because you're a liar. You're a cheater. Clarify this ten of swords. Some of you just were tired of the games. Yeah, and some of you have moved, chose to move forward after this ending. Ending. So how is this person feeling this week towards the collector? Two of swords. Okay? So I do feel like this person is kind of avoiding this for now. But I do feel like they're thinking about coming back, having a reconciliation. Yeah, they look at you as wifey. They want to come back towards you because they know you're single. They know that you they got that people are watching you. You can be very attractive, good looking. You got your money together. You got your shit together. Why are they feeling this two of swords energy? Yeah, because somebody here was was stuck in their ways. They had to make a decision because you felt they felt left out in the cold. They don't know what to do. They're holding back on to say, y'all can with and Aries Hill, Sagittarius. And all this person doing is just praying that they that you that you won't leave them. How is this person feeling towards the collector? Yeah, they're coming back. Their intuition is telling them that they need to make this right with you. That they need to have a second go go have a second chance with you. Figure this out with you. They can even get their friends to reach out to you. Mm -hmm. they're taking their time but they coming because they look at this from another perspective 
they're ready to be in some type of commitment but they know in order to be with you they gotta cut out all this extra bs that they're out here doing why is it taking this person so long with this knight of pentacles energy so for some of you it's because some truth came out some truth could have came out what else yeah. what's this person's next action So the next session, they could be feeling powerless. They, I feel like they're doing a lot of thinking about you. They're doing a lot of thinking and a lot of praying about you because they don't know how to move forward here with you, especially if you kind of made it clear. Clear for the Eight of Swords for their next action. Queen of Cups. So you're going to be definitely on this person's mind. Yeah, they're going to be thinking about coming back. So I don't feel like there's going to be much action right now. For some of you, yes, it will be. But for the most part, they're kind of staying to themselves. And thinking about how much they love you, how you're stable, how you're a good person. Yeah, they're doing a lot of thinking about you. What's their next action? So we got Page of Pentacles. So I do feel like this person wants your trust. Their next action, they want to like kind of hope that you will trust them. I feel like they want to come come and tell you something. Okay, we got Ace of Cups with the Page of Wands. So I feel like I'm going to get some good news from this person if you've been expecting it or hoping. What's okay, can I the Page of Pentacles for their next action? Yeah, they're coming in with a proposal. So they're going to be very creative when they do it too. But y'all got some communication coming because they want a fresh new start with you. It seems someone who's very beautiful, you're very confident, you got your shit together, but you're also not playing no games either. Anything else plus that needs to know about your person? Yeah, right now they're dealing with a lot of burdens, okay? They're dealing with a lot of burdens, they're stressed out, okay? What is this Ten of Wands? They're struggling really bad. Yeah, but they're still hoping to be able to come and talk to you. They're very curious what you're doing. What else is the cousin know about this person? Yeah, they could be trying to work on their money situation, trying to find some type of victory, some type of success to be able to come in here and have a new fresh start with you. Somebody who wants to show that they can be stable and that y'all can have a success together. So what is this person's overall energy towards the collective? So they feel like they're sad over you. They feel like they've lost you. They were very regretful. Why is the Five of Cups here for their overall energy? Yeah, they're sad, but they're hoping for a new beginning. They want to take a leap of faith towards you, a fresh new start. Why does this person want to take a leap of faith and have a fresh new start with the collective? Yeah, they're going to tell you this. The truth is going to come out with these two of cups. They want to fall back in love with you or hope that you can fall in love with them. They want a victory. That's why they want to have, have the take leap of faith because they see victory with you. They want to communicate and talk to you and tell you this themselves because they felt they've lost you. They put you through a lot. But they want to come in here. Yeah, you're a divine emperor or divine masculine. They want to come in here and take some, some action towards you. To show you that I can be the man for you. I can I can make this happen. So your divine masculine is coming back towards you. They're ready to find some balance in this. They're leaving something that no longer serves them. To come and give you all the love. To come and invest in this connection. They're looking at it long term. So tell me about this Ace of Swords. This person definitely wants victory. I feel like this person wants to fight for you. I feel you do. Yeah, so you're dealing with an um, Aries, I'm an Aries, or Aries, but y'all dealing with Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Well, this person want to tell you that they want to build with you. They know in their mind and their heart that they want this. They want to commit to you. They want to be stable. They want to live that good life. They want to have a family. They want success. They want to do all that. Yeah, look, and they coming back. They coming back towards you. They've been manifesting you. 
manifesting about a reconciliation. I can't make it up. They've been manifesting you to come back. Yeah, they trying to prepare right now. Prepare themselves so that you don't have to deal with any extras or cut off any karmics or yeah, they're coming in with a love message when you least expect it. They're gonna they're gonna try to negotiate, see if you'll be willing to 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 be with them. What baby, what I gotta do? So I'm hearing. Baby, what I gotta do to make this right? What I gotta do to prove to you that I I want a second chance. Because right now they got burdens, they stressed out, they don't know what to do. This person probably don't even know when their next meal is coming. You know? So let's see, Spirit. What does the collective need to know? Can I make this shit up? There's a reconciliation taking place here soon. And for some of you, it's going to be this week. It's just right now, your person is so much in their head. Instead of taking action, they thinking about it. For some of you, they cannot get you off their mind. <sighs> Told you, I don't want to put an offer on the table. But somebody's in fear that she could be done. Alright, here we go. So what is the what's the collective need to be aware of, Spirit? Yeah, but they are in total fucking regret. And they want to take a leap of faith towards you, but they're in regret. They know that they made a bad decision. Or they, they could have took a chance with somebody else and they regret it. Mm-hmm. Because all it led to them was a whole breakup. Tell me more, Spirit. Yeah, I definitely do see you set boundaries and distance. This could definitely be your soulmate that you're setting um, boundaries with. Yeah, so right now this person could be watching you, looking you up online, trying to keep up with you because they know that you're done because of their toxic ways. Okay, somebody here may be asking to see you. Yeah, somebody here wants to come home. For others of you, this could just mean that, that the home that you've been manifesting is going to be yours. And that will be something to celebrate soon with your family and friends. I don't know who that's for. Yeah, there's a lot of drama here. Somebody here could be pulling at your person's heartstrings, creating a lot of obstacles, standing in the way, and your person just don't know how to break free from this. They don't really want whoever this is. They want to come back to you. That's why they're keeping so many tabs on you, especially after you cut them off. Okay? Yeah, look, healing came out. Somebody here wants to heal this connection. They want to mend. They want to move forward. Yeah, and if they're in a toxic relationship, they're not in that no more. They ready to let that go. Yeah, because this was just an attachment. And they, the truth is coming out because it led to a person being on legal issues. Then got a divorce. A lot of secrets then came out. A lot of shit then hit the fan. Oof, your person is going through it. That's why them burdens came out. Yeah, and the whole time, you are their wish fulfillment. This person is wishing, praying, hoping that you do not give up on them. After all the shit that they put you through. And they regret hurting your heart. Yeah, this divine masculine. Because they want a family here with you. They do. They want a family. And they regret putting you anything. Like I said, whatever that took a risk towards, that shit was just a disaster. The person does not want to do that no more. They want to come home to real love. Yeah, and it's unfinished business. Even though y'all may be distant, you've set boundaries. There's unfinished business with this person. And some of them, they want to go go far away with you. They want to escape, get away with you. Yeah. They don't come here with a text message calling you, calling you, send you a message. Yeah, because that's you're where they want to be. Yeah. I told you this person's spying on y'all. Got other people watching y'all, searching you up. Yeah. And some of you, they're going to ask to come home. Oops. They're going to ask to come home or tell you to come home because they want to propose to you. They want to have take a new, take y'all's love to a next level. Somebody's like, I got to do right by that girl or that man. Like they, Somebody's like, I got to treat, I got to treat the collective right. I got to do a, a little bit better than what I've been doing. Because that's, that's a whole wife out here. That's a whole husband out here. I'm not going to find that. 
you know, and this person, there was so much drama going on in your person's life because they were wearing a mask. They were, they were lying. Your person was a huge, a big liar. <laughs> okay. Big fat liar. Okay. And they just concealed a lot. They weren't honest. They didn't tell the truth. They wore a disguise. So that's why shit went up in the fan. The fan. That, they could have been lying to you about the lifestyle they were living. I got three trucks. I do this. I do that. And don't do shit. They don't do shit. Yeah, and this person could have ghosted you, rejected you because of a third party. Yeah, they could have let you go because of a third party and that shit didn't even work out. What else does the collector need to know about this person? Yeah, and now this person want to sit around being mad because you're getting away from them. They know who you are to them. They're like, damn, I cannot break free. Every time I let the collective go, I feel like shit. Yeah, because y'all not talking. Y'all are not talking. Why is this person mad? Probably because they went to this toxic ass person. Yeah, because the universe is like throwing all types of signs at this person. <laughs> the universe got your back. Okay, collective in other words. Uh, oh yeah, you're gonna feel this. You're gonna you gonna feel this. Why is this person in so much regret? For some of you, like letting others talk down on you, disrespecting you, could have been family, friends. Yeah, probably a family member, baby mama. And they want to talk this out with you because they definitely see you as the one for them, their forever person. But they regret letting people act, feel like they had one up on you. Tell me what this person regrets. Yeah. For some of you not popping up on you, for not showing up when they needed to. Okay. Why is there unfinished business between the collective and the person? Some of this unfinished business. Yeah, somebody here ready to come in harmony with you. They're ready to talk things out. Look, if I ain't got you by Alicia Keys, 11.55 on the timer. She said, if I ain't got you, ain't nothing in this whole world, whole wide world would ever mean a thing if I ain't got you with me. Yeah. Did this person want to live for the fame Want to leave for the jewelry, the materialistic things. Mm -hmm. Now they want to come to an agreement, compromise. This could take off as a surprise that this person wants to come back, but they're not giving up on this connection. They cannot keep you off their mind. Like I said, somebody could be in jail thinking about you or just having a, having a bad time because you're not talking to them. And they're heartbroken. All they do is probably lay in their bed all day. If they ain't in jail, then they laying around, probably not getting work done, calling out. Yeah, asking God to help them see this through. Yeah, right now this person's definitely feeling weighed down. So she said, well, some people want it all, but if, but I want you. Some people want diamond rings. Some just want everything, but everything means nothing if I ain't got you. And that's what this person's seeing. Why is this person feeling weighed down? Some of them because they ain't got no motherfucking money. Some of you, like I said, for some of you, this person is locked up or they're going to get locked up. And they're going to be singing this song. Because they wanted to be out here living that lifestyle and then come to find out you are what they really needed. And, but they burned that bridge with you. They burned that bridge with you. And now they ain't got nobody putting nothing on their books. Ain't nobody coming to see them. Ain't nobody doing nothing. They seeing the truth right then and there in their face. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, Tuck cannot make this shit up. They about to face some time or do something. And in this time, you may find out that you're done. You're like, I'm not going to keep doing this but that person in jail is definitely going to feel some type of way because this is their karma this is what it all came down to yeah told y'all keep repeating itself this person ain't got nothing and you were the one who had this person back but they want to sit up here and lie cheat probably done stole from you trying to trying to somebody here knows they may be going back to jail and they're trying to come in here and trap you with a baby 
so that you can stay, stay. They can feel some type of hold on you. Because they're like, well, because we're going to be out here having good old fun and, and, and doing things like that. I'm about to trap them because I know I got to do this little time. Crazy. Oh, this person is crazy. Yeah, see, this was a player. They wanted to be a player out here. They, they, they could be very good looking, you know? Clarify this player. Charming, manipulative. Right now they're being tested. The universe is testing. Yeah, but this person here, they're having a hard... They're, they're trying to change, but this change is keeping them in their emotions. Somebody, your person knows it's time to change because nothing is going good for them. Nothing. Nothing with you because you're setting boundaries. You're in. You're not taking it. You're like, I'm not dealing with no... I don't care how much I love you. Some of you are stepping into yourselves and you're just like, I'm not dealing with it. Go on over there with her. Excuse me. Go over there with him. I'm not putting up with it. But this person definitely watching you. They know they need to change. If they want to be with you, they're going to have to change their ways. But right now, those emotions about changing, sometimes they want to change, sometimes they don't. But I feel like you're not waiting around to see it. So I thought this divine feminine. Yeah, they know you're the one. Spirit just confirmed it. But like I said, they let third parties get in the way. Other situations that didn't matter get in the way. Now they're getting karma for it. They even, they even um, knew that dealing with this karmic was going to put put a, st a stop at y'all's relationship. What else is the club they need to know about their person at this time? Spirit? I told y'all. A whole fucking drama queen causing drama, being petty, watching you. But I don't feel like this will stop your person from reaching out to you because they want to be in a committed relationship with you. Clarify this drama queen. That's causing chaos and being thirsty. Yeah, your person's trying to spiritually awake from this person. Your person knows they're not supposed to be with this part other person. They know it. They're really trying to surrender this. What is the spiritual awakening that the collective person is getting about this karma, this drama queen? What is the spiritual awakening that the collective is getting about this drama queen? <laughs> That they in regret because they chose this drama queen over a whole soulmate. Yeah, they let you go for a... Was so indecisive about you. Yeah, and then he's like, well, I'm just go ahead and just... Go ahead and let you pick that one. Now they're keeping tabs on you. Why do they regret being with this drama queen? Because for some of you, it was... They still... They regret this because they still was attracted to you. They knew you were good for them. They admire you. They get butterflies. So we even saw that right here. Get butterflies when I think about you. The thing about it is they haven't came across someone like you. And I feel like you being the divine, you, you always, you know, being good to this person. You probably never did nothing foul to this person. Even when they did you the dirtiest, you just, I'm just like, God handle it. You know how they saying, I'm going to let God handle it because if I do, I'm going to jail. That type of energy. But for some of you, you were you was like, I don't have to go out here and fight these females or fight these men behind you. Like, I know God is going to bless me. And you stayed in, in your grace. You stayed in your element. You didn't have to argue with these people. And especially with karmics, you know. I mean, you ain't going to let them walk all over you and talk shit to you. Of course, you're going to stand your ground. But you always came out on top. And this person, they regret it because they're like, fuck, I done did all this to be with this drama queen. And this person's causing my life hell. And I'm in so much regret. There's so much drama. I'm trying to heal. The karma keep bringing up the my person. And they regret. They regret hurting you. And they regret making this person feel any type of special. And this is the truth. What else? Why do they regret with this drama queen? Yeah. For not making the right choice. They they realize that I shouldn't even been. I shouldn't even done the collective like that. I should have, there was no reason for me to have multiple options, multiple choices. I should have just stuck with what I knew, my person. It might have gotten a little hard. And they're realizing, well, the shit that they, the, that the collector was arguing about, it was my fault. If I would have just manned up and know what I was supposed to do or woman up, we wouldn't even have to went through all this. You know, I could be still laying next to my person at night. Yeah, but this person definitely needs time to heal. So, Spirit, what else does the collector need to know about this person? Somebody here is making a decision and they're choosing to let this karma go for good. And the person could be, like I said, get ready to do time too. And some of you are not paying this person no attention. 
at all. So some of them were very unclear. And he was like, you know, I'm gonna make a decision for you. Let, let me go ahead and make let, let me go ahead and do this for you. Alright. So let's see. Oh. When I think about you, I cry. So this person has cried real tears over you, collectors. It says, let the past go. Can we rewind time and go back to where we both where we were both broken down by life? Our past hold us back from our future. So I do feel like this person, um, maybe some of you, like they want to let the past go. Like they don't want to, like some of you, you bring up the past because you're not healed from it yet. But they're like, let's go back and let's let's go heal this past together. Y'all got this healing card twice, but they want to heal the past. Somebody here probably wishes that they would have, instead of running to some, a third party or messing around with third party, they wish they would have just figured it out with you. And got past those moments, okay? But they're hoping to let the past go. You know, they're jealous right now because they feel like you with somebody else. And right now, they're lost. They're so lost. Can I? I just said this. She didn't just say they're feeling lost. It says, I'm trying to make this work, but I feel so lost. I don't know what to say or to do anymore. And it's easier to just stay in silence. But as they stand in silence, they are... They are um, as they're staying in this silent energy, it's only hurting themselves. You know, that it's hurting themselves. They're crying over you. You know, look, you're my favorite. So that just tells me that they did have options. But you are the, you are the, you are her. You're him. You're her. You're him. Okay. You're the divine. Okay. You're the person I want to call when something good or bad happens. The first thought when I have some news, you're my person. I told y'all. So this person sees you as their person. With these other people, they can't come find in the way they come in you. They can't come to them about things and they wouldn't understand. The bond that y'all created, your person can come to you about anything. And some of you figured you you made a bond when y'all when this person was locked up. And then when they got out, they could have played acted a little bit different. It says, will you listen? There's so many things I want to say to you, but will you hear me out all the way? Will you believe me? That card wanted to come out earlier too. So this person, they want to let the past go because some of you, you keep bringing up the past and they want to let it go. But like I said, it's a hurtful feeling because of what this person did to you. And you, you know, now they're feeling what you felt. Okay. But there's so many things I want to say. Some of you ain't really trying to hear it. Some of you are like, I don't care, you know? But they're obsessed with you. Oh. What else does this person want to let the collector know? Twin flame. It says, you activated my soul and found, helped me find my true purpose in destiny life. You helped me in so many ways to heal. No one else could. Thank you for finding me. Some of you, even though this person needs a lot of healing, some of you were... You help this person heal in many parts. Little do you know, collective. You help this person really heal in a lot of ways. Some of them, they didn't believe in love. You came in and you showed them love. You showed them what a ride or die was. Well, not die, but you showed them what a rider was. You showed them what... Um, they don't have to be perfect all the time, okay? See, because nothing compares to you, collective. It says, no matter how, people, how many people I've met and experiences I've had, there's no one who can compare to you, period. There's nothing that can compare to you. Cannot make this shit up. Didn't I tell y'all somebody here wanted to come home? Spirit is just really confirming everything I just told y'all. I can literally pull cards for each of these. It says, you feel like home. Being with you reminds me of sinful times. You bring me so much happiness and peace. Yeah. And they can't find that nowhere else. Yeah. And they're missing you. It says, I miss you. I wish things were different. My fantasy. You're my fantasies. I, fantasy. I have pictures and videos saved of you and use them for inspiration. I want you. Look, my dreams. It says, I've been dreaming about you. My dreams were so free and in love. Wish I could stay there forever. But somebody, but you could have hurt them by what you said. And it had to come out that way. But they said, it's on. I see you looking good and moving on. I don't care who you're talking to. I'm better. I will compete for you. Mm-hmm. They're going to compete for you because it's nothing like you. You feel like home. 
so that's what I have for y'all collected. I hope y'all enjoyed y'all's reading. Thank y'all so much for stopping by. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Um, if you need a book with me, it's on my Twitter account at Hot Girl Tarot Shay. Go check that out. Okay, inbox me for your reading. Okay, I will see y'all on the next one. Peace.